How important is drinking my protein shake immediately after my workout for increasing my size and strength is a question I've been asked a multitude of times through my last 10 years plus of training experience. Um, in Arizona, we don't have laws about licensure for um, giving nutritional advice. So by law, I could give a detailed nutrition plan to anyone that asks me that question, but I like to prefer to just give a more of a generalized nutritional consultation to my clients because that is definitely more in my uh, scope of practice. I'm not a nutritionist by trade or by licensure. I am a strength conditioning coach. Um, so there is evidence that suggests that there is actually no anabolic window of opportunity after your workout. Um, a paper by Phillips and Loon, Van Loon in 2011 um, decided that the quality of the protein ingested was much more important than the timing of getting it into your body. They found that whey protein was actually the most important protein source for muscle protein synthesis. Secondly, a review by Schoenfield and colleagues in 2013 analyzed 25 different studies about the timing of protein ingestion. Um, after analyzing all the 25 studies, they came to the conclusion that um, protein timing, so getting that protein shake in immediately after workout, is not nearly as important as the total amount of protein consumed throughout the day. That plays a much bigger role in your muscle protein th synthesis than the timing of the protein shake immediately after your workout. Lastly, a uh, review by Stark and colleagues in 2002 came up with a recommendation for daily protein intake um, that was a little bit higher than the recommended daily allowance um, that we have all been taught to take in. They actually described 1.2 to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight being optimal for protein intake for gaining muscle size and muscle strength. So definitely above the recommended daily allowance. So that would mean a 225 pound guy would need to take in, you know, around 120 to over 200 grams of protein daily in order to meet the recommendations set by Stark and colleagues in the study in 2002. Um, in that same review, uh, Stark and colleagues also found that ingesting a carbohydrate source with protein post-workout was actually more effective than just drinking a protein shake alone. So what does this all mean? This all means that in order to really maximize what we're doing in the gym, that hour or 10 minutes or 30 seconds after your workout really isn't the most important time to get your protein into your body. It's more of your daily value, so getting it in throughout the entire day. Um, some ways to help to see if you are getting enough protein in your body, one that I like to use is a food log. So I would have a client um, log all their food for at least three days and so I could determine how much protein they were actually getting into their body. Um, based off of that, I could make a better recommendation if they would be needing a little bit more or even a little bit less in some cases. Um, like I said in the beginning, you know, the state of Arizona does not have licensure laws, but it is definitely out of my realm of expertise and scope of practice to give detailed nutrition plans with specific cal cal calorie loads and macronutrient ratios. So it's definitely not something I recommend, but I can, def I can take a look at an overall dietary plan and see if we do need to add in some extra protein somewhere. Um, some ways to get some extra protein in are eating some extra snacks. Um, I usually like to recommend some nuts or a protein shake or 
or some hard-boiled eggs as different sources of protein other than just like your your typical meat type sources. Um, I do try to recommend that you get your protein in as much as possible from whole food choices and use shakes and bars as a secondary um, source of protein coming in. Um, in conclusion, you know, the best way to get bigger and stronger is going to be staying consistent with your nutrition as well as your weightlifting. Um, oftentimes, people are looking for just the quickest fix or the easiest way to get big and get strong. And if getting big and getting strong was easy, there'd be a lot more big and strong people walking around the gym. Um, the biggest guy in the gym didn't get that way from just making sure that he got his protein shake immediately after his workout. That comes from years and years of dedication, both nutritionally and getting the uh, right programming done uh, as far as your resistance exercises go. Um, all of all three of the studies I s cited um, all called for more research to be done in this specific topic of protein timing and um, what is really optimal as far as getting that protein in after your workout. So as far as we can see right now, that, that little window time after the workout isn't really that important, but more research definitely needs to be done to see if we could potentially have more benefit if we do take in that protein immediately after the workout.